All right, how we doing, my friends? Ooh, it's Tuesday. Ooh, we're having a good one, too. Had four today now, but we usually only have two on Tuesday, but we got a lot of requests to get to, right? And we've got our patrons that we're trying to get done as well. Uh, so we had a couple from TC. We had, uh, we've had CBs, and we've got a few coming up. Um, we also have a good one from CB coming up later this week. Um, but this one comes to us from our friend Lord Jazz who says we got to check this out. Uh, I know a few of you have told me that you're going to see twice this this summer. And uh, a few of you have told me you're going to see Mama Moo and some other K-pop artists. And some of you, it's your first time. And I'm looking forward to my first K-pop concert too. So Lord Jazz tells me this is a great guide for your first K-pop concert, because K-pop concerts are a lot different, he says, than, you know, your regular rock show or whatever. So I'm looking forward to this. We're going to find out what we need to do. And he says Misa is a great teacher, so we're going to find out. All credit to Misa and everybody involved. We do not want any. We do not need any. All we want to do is promote Misa's guide here and Misa. So that's what we're going to do today. This is Misa's Guide to Surviving a Twice Concert. Lord Jazz tells me it's good for all K-pop concerts, though, so we're going to check it out and see. All right, let's go. Oh, don't forget to check everything down in the shop. Subscribe to Misa, all that. Um, and check the shop, check the Patreon, all that. We got all kinds of Twice. We got more Twice coming. We got your stuff coming up, Lord Jazz. Don't worry. Uh, I'm starting it mid this week. Tomorrow, as a matter of fact. And then uh, over on the Patreon, and then next week we'll have the concert. So, all right. All right, my friends, let's go. Hi, my name is Misa. I used to be a fan translator on Twitter for twice, and I've been to loads of concerts in the past few years. And although I don't do much of that anymore, I still stream on Twitch and I make videos on YouTube because it's my passion. Recently, a lot of my viewers have been asking me if I have any tips for what it's like to go to a Twice concert, what it's like to go to a K-pop concert alone. I realized that there's a lot of you guys going to Twice's concert for the very first time during this tour of theirs. And so I figured I will make a video sharing about some of the concert tips that I've had from years of attending K-pop concerts. Right, so I divided up the video into parts for you guys. Check out the timestamps if you want to skip to a different part of the video. They'll be in the description as well. So, what can you expect on the concert day and the days leading up to it? About a week before the concert, you're going to get an email from the venue telling you important information that you need to know about when to check in, when VIP check-in is, when sound check check-in is. And this was the actual schedule for Twice's concert in LA last year. VIP check-in time starts at 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. So you decide to show up to the venue earlier just to be safe. You get there at 1 p.m. and you go to the VIP check-in counter. Here they will ask to see your ticket as well as a photo ID of the purchaser of the ticket. Now this is important. They will actually not give you your VIP benefits unless you have a photo ID. And I've seen a lot of cases at the VIP check-in counter where if somebody shows up with their ticket, they bought it from a resale site like SeatGeek or Vivid Seats, and they only have the ticket. They don't actually have the photo ID of the purchaser. Um, I've seen a lot of cases where they actually straight up just did not let them into soundcheck. And it's honestly really sad. Just keep in mind that even if you don't have a photo ID of the original purchaser, you can still get into the concert. You just can't get into soundcheck or get the VIP benefits. Worst case scenario though, you can try to explain to the staff about your situation. And I have seen cases where like people just broke down in tears in front of the staff and eventually they were let in. <laughs> No guarantee you're gonna get lucky like that, but I mean, at that point, just give it your best shot. So now you've checked into the venue and you have your little bag of goodies that you get from VIP check-in. The good thing about arriving early at the venue is there usually will be a lot of fans who give out freebies like albums, photo cards, merch, slogans, things like that. If it's your first ever concert, it's usually worth going early to the concert just to check out the vibe and just to take in the experience of just being in a huge venue with 
all these other fans who like the same artist. It's a pretty cool experience. Also, make sure to use the bathroom while you can, or even better, before you head out to the venue. As it gets closer to concert start time, the line for the bathroom will just get impossibly long. Yeah, that's a great point. A lot of great points in that, actually. Um, yeah, you want to have your ID, of course, uh, and you want to be the original ticket purchaser, pit purchaser, especially for VIP stuff. That's a great point. Um, when you're doing VIP stuff and you're, you know, you're going for sound checks and things like that, you need to be the original purchaser and you need to buy it from a reputable site like Ticketmaster or, you know, unfortunately, I'm not a big Ticketmaster fan, but, you know, that's the way it is today, <laughs> you know, just saying. <laughs> What is soundcheck exactly? So soundcheck is basically a last rehearsal by the idols. They will go on stage and they will sing a few songs just to check if the audio is working, if there's any tech issues. So if you have a VIP ticket, chances are you have soundcheck access. For Twice's soundchecks, they usually last for 15 minutes or so. They will sing three songs usually. Um, but the coolest part, honestly, is that they go on stage in their casual clothes and it's a really candid experience. They will sing and they will interact with fans. Um, and it's honestly just a really exclusive experience overall. Now, the thing is, they're very strict on filming and recording during soundcheck. So you probably won't be allowed to have your phone out. But I mean, it's a really nice time to just cherish the experience and live in the moment. And if you're curious about how soundcheck procedures work, they're going to give you a check in time for the soundcheck. It's actually pretty important that you make it on time for this because there have been times where people have shown up late and they weren't allowed into soundcheck because doors have already closed. And once you're inside, your seat for the soundcheck is the same as your designated seat um, for the actual concert. Now, keep in mind that there is a lot of queuing when it comes to these concerts. Uh, you will be put into line for soundcheck for at least an hour or so. And in the hot summer heat, you definitely want to be prepared for times like that. So here are some crucial tips for uh yeah remember it's summertime right it, here especially so if you're at the, one of the outdoor venues remember that remember that make sure to have a you know you usually can't carry a large bag in i do know that um but make sure you know bring you a water or two you could put in your pocket or something um you know so you've got a little liquid with you <laughs> you know uh one of those uh cooling rags you can put over your neck make sure you got a hat things like that because it's gonna get hot <laughs> for what you should bring on the day of the concert most venues will require a pretty small yeah. size bag if you're gonna bring a bag in so i have this twice bag from previous concerts and it's not a very big bag as you can see so you only want to bring the essentials bring a power bank this is so, so, so important. You're going to be at the venue for a long time and you're most definitely going to want to film fan cams while you're there. So the last thing you want is for your phone to die while you're in the middle of recording or you're trying to find your friends after the concert, but you can't reach them because your phone died. And don't forget to bring your charging cable too. You will want to bring extra batteries. So the Candy Bong uses three AAA batteries. And in my experience, these things don't last very long. And I usually have to resort to backups when I'm at concert. They usually I didn't mean to pause, and I'm sorry about that, Misa. Uh, I'll go back a little bit. She's absolutely right on that. They do not last long. Lord Jazz sent me the candy bong, and I appreciate it, my friend. Uh, I put two sets of batteries in it. I used the first set when we did the first video after I got it, and I went to use it the next day, and they were already dead. So, th yeah, they do not last long. So you're going to want to bring extra batteries if you've got your candy bong or you're going to buy your candy bong at the thing. It's triple A's. Make sure you've got a little pack with you of at least probably nine because it takes three. Make sure you've got a good pack of batteries with you. <laughs> These things don't last very long. And I usually have to resort to backups when I'm at concert. They usually don't last the entire length of a concert, even when it's fully charged. Bring a small bottle cap. If you're going to be buying water at these menus, they will likely take off the lid on your water bottle before giving it to you. So just having a small lid will be helpful. 
I don't need it. Keep in mind that Twice is going to be touring in the US in June and July, which is like the peak of summertime. So it's going to get really, really, really hot. Heat stroke is an absolute real thing. And you definitely don't want to be passing out from the heat in the middle of a Twice concert and miss the show that you paid hundreds of dollars for. Wear a hat, wear light colored clothing, bring a portable fan if you can, or even a small hand towel to use a shade for your neck or to wipe with. Another tip is that you can bring a white piece of folded paper, unfold it after security check, and place it against the wall of your bag. This will be helpful with reflecting heat away from your bag, keeping the contents of your bag from heating up. Also, make sure to bring enough sunscreen. I like to bring a sunscreen stick, which is more convenient and portable to use than an actual bottle of sunscreen lotion. You can find these at pharmacy. Deodorant is also great to use for your sake and everyone else around you. For the ladies, I highly recommend just bringing some emergency pads because you never know what's going to happen and you don't really want to be stranded out there without a pharmacy to go to in case of an emergency. I also recommend just bring a few tablets of painkillers in case you get a headache, in case you get cramps. Those kind of things can really ruin your concert experience. Also, cough drops are nice to have on hand in case you have a sore throat after the concert. Bring a piece of your photo ID if you want to get drinks at the bar. So you will be allowed to record footage using your phone for concerts as well as point and shoot cameras. They will let you bring in a point and shoot camera, but professional cameras like this, they're not going to allow in. I have had friends in the past who have tried to sneak in their DSLR cameras by disassembling them and hiding the pieces underneath their clothes in their bag. But in my experience, security tends to be pretty strict at these events. Um, and the last thing you want to do is be caught with something that you're not allowed inside the venue with. So just yeah. be careful about that. Before the concert, make sure you- Yeah, because they will not let you in. <laughs> and you'll be out your money. <laughs> and you won't be going to the show. <laughs> Wipe your storage as much as you can on your phone to free up as much space as you can for those fan cams. Especially if it's your first concert, you will definitely be filming fan cams. You don't want to run out of storage and have to go through your phone in the middle of the concert and delete old videos to make room for new ones. Another thing I have to warn you about is just be prepared to enter the venue and realize you have no data and no bars and no signal on your phone. There's been a lot of times I've been to concerts where the signal was just awful inside the venue and I could barely load the internet, load Twitter. Now something that first time concert goers may not be prepared for is the level of traffic. If you are driving to the concert, my advice is to park as far away from the venue and as close to the parking lot exit as you possibly can. Or if you can, park off site somewhere else and walk to the venue instead. Because just imagine what it's like when 50,000 fans try to exit the venue and are all leaving the parking lot at the same time. It's, there's a huge amount of traffic. And I've been to concerts in the past where I literally had to wait in the parking lot for two hours because there was only one lane designated for cars to exit the parking lot and it was a nightmare. Just be wary of that. As well, if you are Ubering home, Uber prices are going to be expensive during that time. Yeah, I... For those of you that have never been to a concert before, believe me, she's right. Uh, I've been to concerts where the concert has ended at just before midnight and, you know, we haven't left the parking lot until almost four in the morning. <laughs> and we haven't been sitting there drinking or anything like that. We've been sitting in the car trying to get out of the parking lot. <laughs> So you're in the venue and your idols are performing. How are you going to have the best time? How are you going to get noticed by your idols? <laughs> the number one way to get noticed by your idols is honestly just dance and vibe. Nothing wrong with recording fan cams at a concert, obviously. But what I tend to notice is that Twice will take notice of those who are just dancing their hearts out, just reciprocating the energy, bones down, just enjoying themselves. Really just try to enjoy the concert as much as you can with your eyes. You paid a lot for that ticket. You don't really want to be looking at Twice through your phone screen the entire time. It's, it's truly surreal just being there in the moment. Don't worry too much about who's going to be watching you, who's going to be judging you. They're not looking at you, I promise. Also, I've seen fans wear very, very creative costumes to Twice's concerts, and Twice will usually take note of that. I brought this sign many times with me to concerts, and Mina has always taken notice. So if you're going to bring a sign, try to make it original and creative. They will pay attention to that. Although I 
will say, you don't want to be holding up your sign like this above your head for much of the concert. You don't really want to be blocking the view of those behind you. Usually if Twice has already noticed my sign, I will, I will just put it down. I'm not going to be waving it at them anymore. A lot of people have been asking me, so what is it like to go to a Twice concert by yourself? Like, is it even worth going by yourself if you have no friends to vibe with? And what I will say is, I have been to concerts with friends and on my own. And honestly, both have been very different but fun experiences. In my experience of going to Twice concerts in the past, I have seen a lot of people who go by themselves. To the point where I'd say it's a very, very normal thing to do. By the time the concert starts, all you're going to be focused on is twice on the stage. You're going to forget who's standing next to you and you're just going to be vibing in the moment. People around you are paying attention to twice, I promise. They're not going to be judging you for wanting to dance or wanting to groove. In fact, I admire people who can just dance like no one's watching at a twice concert. Going to a twice concert yeah, it, it makes no difference. Once you're inside the venue, it makes no difference whether you're dancing or vibing or headbanging, whatever the case may be, right? They're going to be watching the group, the band, the artist, whatever the case may be, right? And you will make new friends at a venue if you're there by yourself. I guarantee it. <laughs> so it means you have a lot of opportunities to make friends with the other fans around you. Honestly, this is a rare opportunity because when else are you going to be in such a huge space with so many other fans who like the same artists that you like? Immediately, there's something to bond over. You're going to be in line a lot, so might as well kill time by talking to people around you. If the interaction goes well, you've made a new friend. If the interaction goes poorly, you're probably never going to see this person again, and they won't remember you by tomorrow. So, you don't have a lot to lose, but you have a lot to gain. So here are some script ideas for you for how to start a conversation with someone next to you. Hi, is this your first time seeing Twice? Oh, who's your bias? When did you get into Twice? How did you get into them? What's your favorite song by Twice? Are you going to any other concerts? Do you like any other K-pop groups? What other kinds of music do you listen to besides Twice? So these are all really, really easy, natural ways to start a conversation with somebody. Don't be afraid. Do your best. I have met so many friends from Twice concerts that I still keep in touch with to this day. Some people also ask me about what are some scripts that you can say to end a conversation. So here's a really natural one that you can use. I gotta go to my seat, but it was really nice to meet you. Enjoy the concert. Hope I see you around. I'm gonna go find my friends. They should be around here somewhere, but it was really nice to meet you. And if you really like the person and want to stay in touch, you can ask them, do you have a Twitter or an Instagram? And if you really like them, you could ask them, hey, tell me how the concert goes for you after. Send me some pics that you take today. Ways to stay in touch. This is optional, but after the concert ends, there will usually be a crowd of fans waiting near a specific exit of the venue for their idols to come out. The exit is different per venue, but idols will usually use the same exit every time. This is completely optional, but some fans are hoping for an extra glimpse of their idols after the concert, and they will wait to see their idols exiting the building and boarding the vans after the concert. Sometimes Twice will actually walk around and wave hi to the fans. Now keep in mind that you're basically going to have to rush out of the concert when it ends to get front row at one of these crowds, and chances are you're going to have have to wait at least, I would say at least an hour or so before you get a chance to even see twice. If this is your very first K-pop concert, I'm gonna prepare you for something called PCD, post-concert depression. And it's a real thing. After I went to my very, very- f I can't believe she brought up PCD. <laughs> if it's your first concert ever, or your first, like, you know, major concert, yeah, it's a real thing. Uh, because you're gonna you're gonna be on this high through the concert. It's gonna be loud. It's gonna be boisterous. You're gonna have a great time, and all of a sudden everything's gonna end. And you're gonna go, wow. Wait a minute. I feel like empty. Believe me, it's real. Don't fret. <laughs> she going. Oh yeah. Okay. What's she gonna tell you? I First K-pop concert. I think it was 2013. It was for Girls Generation. I remember walking home, wandering the streets in the dark and just feeling absolutely empty, yeah. like my life had no meaning anymore yeah. and I just missed my girls so much. I wanted nothing more than to just go back and see them in concert again. Just be prepared for that feeling of emptiness after leaving the venue, you know, after three hours of that dopamine high and then going back to reality. It can be, it can be really jarring, it can be really jarring, but just so you know, a lot of fans go through this and you're not alone. I find what helps is watching your fan cams, just being a part of online fan communities, 
talking about the concert with your friends, and staying up to date with your idols on social media, listening to your favorite songs. This is why I usually recommend that if you are once going to Twice's concert for the very, very first time, if you have the opportunity to go to a second day of their concert, do buy tickets for that second day. Because that first day is going to be so overwhelming, and you're going to definitely want to relive it again, at least one more time. So I will be going to two of Twice's concerts in the US this year, their SoFi concert in LA on June 10th. I will also be going to their MetLife concert in New Jersey on July 6th. I do have a Discord server for my Twitch and YouTube community, and a bunch of us who are going to the same stops are planning to do our own little meetups. So if you are going alone to any of Twice's concerts and maybe you're a little bit nervous, maybe you're a little hesitant, feel free to join in Discord and meet some new friends who you can go to the concert with. And if you see me at the concert, feel free to come up and say hi. I promise to make it as least awkward for you as possible. Twice's concerts are so much fun, really. Even if you only know a couple of their songs, like these girls make it an amazing time for you. They love performing and you can literally feel their passion and energy. Last year for the tour, Twice literally did seven songs for their encore. Even when their staff wanted to go home, these girls still wanted to stay on stage and keep performing more. That's how much they love their fans and love the stage. And honestly, these girls are the sweetest girls ever. They're hilarious, they're adorable, they're precious. Their stage presence is amazing. You're gonna have a really, really good time. You're not gonna regret going to a Twice concert. So if you are going to Twice's US tour this year, I hope I see you there and I hope you have an unforgettable, amazing time. Let me know if you have any other questions, leave them down here in the comments or join my Discord or ask me on Twitch stream. I stream three times a week, Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays at 9pm EST. Feel free to join my community there. It is a very wholesome, welcoming K-pop community. And I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know if you have other questions or suggestions for videos in the future. Well, that was a great video. That that was a great guide. Listen, yeah, she mentioned a lot of great stuff in there, uh, and a lot of true stuff, a lot of stuff that we've done for many years going to concerts. Um, but great stuff for first timers. Uh, and that's that's awesome, and great stuff, great mentions for first time K-pop concerts, stuff that I didn't know, uh, for like sound checks and things like that. That's awesome. Um, I'll remember that. Thank you, Misa. Uh, thank you, Blur Jazz. Uh, listen, y'all be sure to go down and subscribe to Mesa's, uh, stuff. Um, all her stuff is right here on the screen now. Um, yeah, appreciate that. Uh, we're subscribed and we'll remain that way. Y'all check everything out with us and have fun at the concerts. Don't forget, you got a lot of outdoor stuff this year. You got, you know, like SoFi, that's outdoor be careful, it's going to be hot out there, my friends. Okay? Met life, that's outdoor, that's going to be hot. It's the middle of summer. Be careful, okay? But have a good time. All right? My friends, y'all be good. We'll see you later. This soul pops. We are out.